क्योंकि हम चेन्नई एक्सप्रेस के बाद काम कर रहे थे साथ में ये पांच दिन जब हमने गाना शूट किया किसी ने रणवीर को नहीं देखा सब दीपिका को ही देख रहे थे और ओके okay भी होता था तो सब पहले दीपिका के पास जाते थे <laughs> चलेगा ये मिलेगा तो चलेगा टू कोलेबोरेट विद रोहित आफ्टर चेन्नई एक्सप्रेस विथ मीना मा विच इज इन माई ओपिनियन वन ऑफ माई मोस्ट आइकॉनिक कैरेक्टर्स नॉट जस्ट इन माई फिल्मोग्राफी बट आई थिंक इन द फिल्मोग्राफी ऑफ इंडियन सिनेमा इफ आई मे से सो माई सेल्फ वेन आई वॉक बैक ऑन टू दिस सेट मुझे वैसे ही लगा जैसे मुझे चेन्नई एक्सप्रेस में लगा द सेम टीम द एनर्जी इवन द कैरेक्टर दैट आई हैड टू ब्रिंग टू द सॉन्ग जस्ट ऑल ऑफ इट जस्ट ब्रॉड बैक सच फॉन मेमोरीज एंड वर्किंग विथ हिम इज ऑलवेज फन इट्स ऑलवेज अमेजिंग एंड आई थिंक यू सी दैट ऑन स्क्रीन फॉर मी द हाइएस्ट रेटेड is Meena Ma in Chennai Express my favorite film of hers my favorite character of hers and I can't wait ye to namuna tha I can't wait for these two special people of my life yes. bhai and bivi to collaborate on the big screen once again Amazing. yes she very much is the queen of entertainment i think 15 years of a glorious career uh, having showcased an immense amount of versatility across genres uh given such special film special characters special performances uh as i said before none better than meena ma in chennai express uh so the tagline is a very apt the queen of entertainment uh and definitely like i said the queen of my life also aur mujhe to uh entertain karti rehti hai she has a very endearing and humorous side to her which uh, i get to see specially reserved for me so most certainly not just the queen of entertainment but of my queen queen of my life queen of my heart and of everybody's heart the queen of hearts deepika padukone <laughs> talia okay you know like i said it felt like i was bringing alive the meena ma and me again you know they always say that every character that you play um comes from a little bit of your own personality so when the previous question was asked about uh, you know how i entertain him i do feel like a lot of whether it's minama or the character that you're seeing in the song is inherently me it's just maybe y'all don't get to see it as often um, just because of i'm shy and whatever but uh, working with rohit i didn't go into this song feeling like i was shooting a song it was a celebration and i think like i said i think that's what you see on screen it's 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 love it's collaboration it is um it's a celebration and and of course my love for rohit the fact that you know we've done such an iconic movie together and created an iconic character together so to be able to collaborate with him again um it was just five days of in, in immense and intense fun uh, in an artist repertoire uh, i feel like you have drama you can be in all kinds of genres a drama thriller romance but if you can crack comedy as an artist 
then you've opened up and unlocked a completely different dimension. Up until Chennai Express, we didn't even know Deepika's humorous side and her comic timing, impeccable comic timing. Uh, I remember I've seen Chennai Express twice in the theatres and innumerable number of times after that. It's a cult classic. And she really showcased a different side of her repertoire, uh, which after so long, we got to see uh, Nazara of that in this song. This humorous, joyous, joie de vivre, colourful, vibrant side of Deepika's, uh, which only Bhai is able to bring out, uh, is my favourite avatar of Deepika. I love to see her in this mould the most. Uh, this film is really, uh, it's a family film. It's an ensemble. And we have in our ensemble geniuses of comedy, just absolute Titans, they are colossus, colossal artists, you know. Um, when you think comedy in Hindi films, who comes to mind? Johnny Levy comes to mind. You know, we have Sanjay Mishra, Siddharth Jatav, we have a Varun Sharma, an entire ensemble of such fine actors. Uh, and nobody better to lead it than the king of comedy himself. You know, he reminded me, I, I remember this instance on set in the first few days. Um, I had a moment, I thought, the shot got cut, I thought it was so great. And I looked towards him. I was like, man, what's going on? I mean, ek toh, you're having so much fun making it. Then you're really happy with the way it's turning out. And he was like, what do you think, bro? I've been making this type of movie for 15 years. You think I'm... <laughs> you know? Uh, and he's created... a com it, It's like this uh, genre of comedy is his. He's got his chaap all over it. You know, and he's created a cult following. Like, I don't know of any other franchise in Hindi cinema that has the amount of love that Golmal has. The Golmal series, you know. And now, presenting to you, with circus, Rohit Shetty's comedy verse. Ladies and gentlemen, you all are invited. I, I was just going to say that comedy is the most difficult genre to do. Yeah. As much as I would love to do it and do a lot more of it, there's only one person in this country who's doing it correctly, and that's him. And I've had the opportunity of collaborating with him once. And uh, yeah, God willing, we'll collaborate again. I think the difference is like uh, this boy, you have to tame him. He's a generator, actually. He's a generator. He's a generator. He's a generator. Whereas Deepika is like, she's controlled, she knows what she's doing. Even he knows, he's very hardworking where comedy is concerned. But that's the difference. Like, for this song, I remember he was rehearsed for around 10 days. And Deepika was straight on set. <laughs> but the energy what he has is, like if you see Simba, or if you see Circus now, what makes the difference uh, of my film is his energy. You know, from all other films what I've done till now. Uh, Simba is very special for me also. And circus will also be very special where the comedy is concerned. And the credit goes to Ranveer for that. Hey boss, you know what I always say, ma'am? I'm like, there's nobody who presents me like this, you know? He was the first one who entrusted me with the character of Simba. It's not easy to follow up a larger-than-life cult character like Singham. But he believed in me. He gave me the opportunity. And we made such a memorable film together. Hopefully, there'll be Simba 2. I'm, I'm pretty sure there will be Simba 2. I'm manifesting it. Uh, and then, I've always, I've grown up on these types of movies. I love the comedy genre in Hindi films, you know. It's that one genre that really brings the entire family together. That they can all sit and enjoy. You know, I've grown up on these films. I love these films. And it's always been a dream of mine to be a part of them. And again, Bhai has entrusted me to be not given me not one, but two roles in the same film. It's my first time foraying into this genre. So hopefully, people will and, like uh, it, love he's, it. He's so lovable and he's become like a family that we realized uh, now that since Simba, even when I watch the song, I just, I can't help but smile. And that's the collaborative effort. And that kind of inclusivity is not just in the team, but here's a filmmaker who, who, who has that in his mind when he makes the film as well. It's inclusive for the audience as well, you know? It's so warm, it's so inviting, you know? He's like, come, 
come to the theater. I'll show you a good time. And I can't wait for the audience to see it. This, you know, after two, three years of a difficult time that we've all been through, this film is poised to give audience that old feeling of joy, you know, that we've missed for so long. I can't wait for Christmas. I can't wait for the audience to see this. And let me tell you, boss is standing here and in his presence, I will tell you all, if you, you've not seen anything in the trailer, he's actually saved everything for the film. Watch the film. It is an absolute riot. When you come out of this film, you'll feel so light and happy. And that's what we want to, you know, that we are here to serve the audience. And that's the offering that we have at hand. And I'm very excited for people to see it.